Uh, Malcolm Featherstone, standing for the Reform Party in the constituency of Harlow. You've got your stall around the corner, so we're mm -hmm. just taking you away. Uh, what are the typical people? Is it popular? Are people coming up to you and asking questions? Yeah, people are on a regular basis coming up and asking questions. Uh, we're also getting a lot of people stopping, having a good look at the banner, seeing what we're there, and actually clocking that we're standing, which is as important as anything else. But no, we've had a regular flow of people coming up. Any particular questions, any particular observations from people? Um, one that comes up, as you might expect, quite frequently is immigration. Another is, you know, cost of living, uh, you know, defence, policing, typical sort of issues, I, I guess. And as I've taken you around the corner, we are behind a police station. What is it? Is it police presence or solving crime? Do you think, it, do you think it's things like that that are frustrating people? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, people when they were growing up, you know, we used to seeing coppers around. And I think a lot of people feel, when I certainly feel, that the visible presence of policemen is a deterrent. I think, you know, and it's also a reassurance for people. But I think people are also very frustrated with the fact that they might get burgled and nothing appears to happen. Yeah, nothing at all. But I, know, I know burglary is a difficult crime to deal with, but... One of the uh, candidates in the local election said knocking on doors in streets, immigration came up. Yeah. When um, when it came to the, um, I was standing in the stow, uh, the, uh, uh, on Friday, immigration came up. Yeah. Do you think that's a frustration regarding Brexit? Do you think, you know, something along eight years later, people are still a little bit frustrated, they haven't got what they thought they were voting for? Yeah, I think people are very frustrated. With that. And in fact, not, not only have they not got what they thought they voted for, They've got the inverse of what they voted for. I mean, we've had huge volumes of net immigration in the last couple of years. And people are asking why. We thought we were getting back control. We seem to have lost control. And I don't think it's because we lost control. I think it's because you know, the Conservative Party actually quite like a large flow of cheap labour. So, you know, they've been very complicit in this. And what they want, what people want, is you know, controlled immigration. And they want immigration which is less about cheap labour and more about cultural fit. You know, people who want to be British, whatever that means, and it's a broad thing. So that's what people want. Well, do, do you have to think, you know, there's 18.5% of the population of Harlow is non-UK born. Yeah. So do you have to make sure, are those people welcome to vote for Malcolm Feverson? Oh, of course they are. Of course they are. And in fact, quite a few people would have, you know, we get coming up and saying they want to vote, are people whose families are, you know, an immigrant heritage, and they don't like what they're seeing either. They don't like the fact that, you know, some people are queue jumping on immigration and other people are getting in who clearly don't, you know, are not interested in the concept of what being British is. And they feel they've, you know, assimilated, adapted, become British, have contributed to what being British is. And they see people who have no inclination to do that. So we, we're getting, you know, people of immigrant heritage also frustrated. In a few weeks time, we're gonna have our question time. Uh, all questions, different questions will be asked. Are you looking forward to answering or having a go answering questions on all subjects? Yeah, I mean, obviously there are some subjects I know more about than other subjects. I mean, we have a very broad, well, quite a contract, but very broad manifesto. I wouldn't pretend, pretend to know it to the nth degree, I will do my very best, but I will also be honest about areas where, you know, it's... For example, as a resident, are you going to say, where's my new hospital? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and to be frank, you know, I mean, I see the plans, I hope it's going to happen, um, whichever government gets in, but, you know, realistically, you know, we'd have to see what what happened if we got in? We'd have to you know, see the land line, see what finances were, see what priorities were. But I think everyone wants the health service sorted out, don't they? They do. Um, you're here in your stall in the town centre. Mm. You must have a, a small, com compact but bijou team, you know, small team. Are you going to try and get on the doors? Is that is that tricky? You're just trying to right. try and get to the um, parades and the precincts? No, I mean, realistically, I mean, there's, you know, this election's come earlier than we would have wanted. We haven't built the presence we would have liked. There are 45,000 households in the constituency. Knocking on doors is beyond our resources. We'll leaflet. We're going to try and get everywhere. I don't know if we'll manage to leaflet 
everywhere. We delivered 2,000 last week. That's not going to be enough. We need to ramp that up and try and deliver 5,000 in the, the coming weeks. Um, well, we need to do more than that. So realistically, we're not going to get around everywhere. We're going to do at least two street stalls a week, Central Harlow, and then we're going to go around places like Staples High and the Stowe and the, the like. Just try and be seen. Try it. Because a lot of the trouble is people don't know we're standing. You know, so we, we just need to let them know they've got that choice if we're the right choice.